Welcome to the final lesson in, social in, in the Social Influence topic, Lesson 12, The Role of Social Influence Processes in Social Change. My name is Nick Redshaw. I have over 16 years experience of teaching A-level psychology. I'm also co-author of the highly successful independent learner series of student workbooks available exclusively on Amazon. So, the role of social influence processes in social change. The term social change can be used to refer to changes in social institutions, social behavior, or the social relations of society, community of people, or, other, or any other social structure, and is a continually evolving process. Change can occur as a result of many different factors, including changes in teaching practices, political regime changes, and even media advertising. This section will look at the role of different social influence processes in bringing about social change. How social influence research helps explain social change. Firstly, consistency. Moscovici, in 1969, that we looked at in, last, in the last lesson, minority groups are successful in influencing the majority if they use clear and consistent messages over and over again. These messages create conflict in the minds of the majority, forcing them to examine the message and internalizing the content. For example, Recycling within the UK used to be something, something a small number of people engaged in. Today, almost every household does their bit for the environment. The use of clear and consistent messages has helped bring about social change. The snowball effect. Van Avermaet, in 1996, little by little, the majority move over to the minority. As more and more people join the minority, like a snowball, it grows and gathers momentum until eventually it becomes the majority. For example, the use of consistent messages about the dangers of climate change has gathered momentum. The small minority of campaigners have gained the support of individuals, companies, businesses and governments in this snowball effect. Social Kryptonesia Perez, 1995. The messages are now ingrained in the thought processes of the majority. It is now the norm. The original minority group has been forgotten and social change has been successful. Example. It was a very small group of militant women known as the suffragettes that brought about laws giving women the right to vote. Their cause has now long been forgotten and women's rights to vote is ingrained in our society. All of these factors, consistency, the snowball effect, social cryptoamnesia, all bring about social change. So in your workbooks, if you're using one of our workbooks or your teacher has downloaded our workbook from TESS, complete the following tasks. If you haven't got a workbook, then complete it on a piece of paper. The first one starts with the scenario. Laws that are passed by government on social change, issues such as gay rights and the smoking ban, are first enforced by authoritarian figures. Over time, these laws become the social norm and the need for the authoritarian figure diminishes. Describe how social influence processes have contributed to these social changes. In your answer, refer to research, e.g. Milgram and Ash, for six marks. You may want to stop your video at this point in order to answer the question. Okay, welcome back. So, a scenario based question. Laws that are based by government on social change, issues such as gay rights and smoking ban are first enforced by authoritarian figures. Over time these laws become the social norms and the need for the authoritarian figure diminishes. Describe how social influence processes have contributed to these social changes. In your answer, refer to research support, e.g. Milgram and Ash. Marks for this question is AO2, six marks. AO2, six marks. There are various ways that you could tackle this to explain social change, and examiners 
will be prepared to credit any sort of relevant explanation. You just need to sort of make sure that you tackle it from the point of view of one of the um, factors on the previous slide and relate it to the scenario. AO2 application. Important to access the top band, you must explicitly engage with the stimulus material and refer to how social influence research would lead to changes, changing views of homosexuality or the smoking ban. So, for example, in recent times, changes to the laws have made equal rights more of a social norm. The passing by governments of such popular laws are not necessarily the view of the majority. As, as little as 30 years ago, the majority of the public opposed same-sex relationships or gay couples adopting because they thought they were morally wrong or deviant. Therefore, to ensure these laws are adhered to, they first need to be enforced by an authoritarian figure. And social change, in this case, can be explained by Milgram's research on obedience to authority and the process of compliance, which brings about change in behaviour publicly, but not necessarily privately. Therefore, the change only lasts as long as the enforcement. However, to bring about more permanent social change, since the passing of the law, according to Moscovici, a small minority, e.g. gay rights campaigners, would need to show the following factors. Commitment to their cause, as well as being consistent and flexible to the beliefs and views of others. This they have achieved, and so according to Van Avermaet, little by little the minority have slowly persuaded the majority to change their views on gay marriage and adoption. This is like a snowball, eventually becomes the majority. So much so that Perez claims that the majority now support recent changes allowing gay marriage and adoption and that these thought processes have been internalised and become the social norm. So much so that the original cause seems unbelievable. This is known as social cryptoamnesia. So as you can see, for six marks you need quite a bit of detail, obviously with terminology and linking it to the scenario and supporting it with research. So moving back to the slide, many of the social change laws have economic implications. For example, recycling not only saves the environment, it also saves council money, as waste is often collected fortnightly, and the smoking ban encourages people to quit smoking, saving the NHS millions of pounds. Therefore, this can be linked to psychology in the economy. In your workbook, I would now like you to complete the following tasks. Firstly, in previous weeks we have looked at research investigations into healthy eating. Explain how the psychologists can use social influence research to change people's behaviour and explain the benefit healthy eating might have on the economy for four marks. You may want to pause the video at this point in order to answer the question. Okay, welcome back. So in previous weeks we've looked at research investigations into healthy eating. Explain how the psychologists can use social influence research to change people's behaviour and explain the benefit healthy eating might have on the economy. This is, again, four marks of AO2. Possible suggestion here, simply social influence research tells us how behaviour and attitudes can be changed e.g. how minority influence can be exerted or how people tend to conform to perceived norms or reference to any other relevant social influence process. In this case, the resulting change of eating more healthy means that people should be healthier. The economic implications of this saves on health service, care resources and means less time off work sick. Okay. Moving on to the next question. A small group of students are interested in the school becoming a fair trade school. The teacher thinks it's a great idea and tells the students that the school can become a fair trade school as long as the rest of the student council agree. Use your knowledge of conformity and minority influence to explain the factors that will determine how successful the small group of students will be with specific reference to social impact theory and the snowball effect for four marks. You may want to pause the video at this point in order to answer the question. Okay, welcome back. So, 
In this case, you've got, a, you've got a scenario with a small group of students. You've been asked to use your knowledge of conformity and minority, and you need to make specific reference to social impact theory and snowball effect. Again, this is four marks of AO2. Possible content here. Factors affecting minority influence. The student council are more likely to be convinced if the small group of students are consistent, committed, and show flexibility in their views. Credit will also be given if the students might demonstrate application of um, explanations of minority influence, e.g. social crypto amnesia, snowball effect, and social impact theory. In addition, group size, how big this group is, the student body being the majority, unanimity, there may be other students who agree with the small group. And you may want to include information on social influence and internalization. So moving on, in your workbook, complete the following task. Briefly discuss the role of minority influence in social change. In your answer, refer to Moscovich's concepts of consistency, commitment and flexibility that lead to the internalization of the minority. Okay, here, the possible content. Two marks of AO1 and three marks of AO3. Moscovici believed that three main processes involved in minority influence. Consistency. The minority group or individual must maintain a consistent viewpoint at all times in order to influence the majority group to change their viewpoint. Commitment. The minority group or individual must appear confident and believe in their viewpoint in order to influence others. Flexibility. The minority group or individual must show that they are prepared to accept small changes so as not to appear too rigid in their viewpoint. Five marks. So in summary, at the end of this topic, the role of social change is about moving away from conformity towards internalization, the dominant view of society at a given time. In psychology, this is known as the zeitgeist. As we have seen throughout this topic, social change can be achieved through various processes. Which do you believe is more influent? Which do you believe is the more influential process? The answer here is your choice, but please, as always, be prepared to justify your answer. And that brings us to the end of the social influence topic. I look forward to actually speaking to you when we look at the, me the memory topic.